Okay, got a, an interesting setup going on here. Or at least I think it's interesting. Um, I've got a, well, it's like a scalar harmonic resonator I'm trying to build. Um, these are the uh, first two nested coils. Um, I've got this coil to go around them. These are both counterwind, so that they're for um, producing scalar fields. So it's taking the B, the, uh, the B curl of the uh, magnetic vector potential uh, which is the A field. And that's what I'm hoping to form is a like a resonant chamber in between these two coils. Uh, one of them looks like that inside, but it's a different one, obviously. But uh, anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm pulsing it via the cone coil here, which is uh, just standard, just like Tesla coil setup. I've got primaries on the outside. I put on two because I needed to use, um, I was using Evo's radiant power circuit here, and that requires two primaries. And I thought, well, if I counter lay them, and they're both oppositely wound, one for the other cone, one for this one, uh, then it would compress the field in the center uh, of the uh, induction. And then that has a rod down the center of it, you can see there, and that is also connected to the apex terminal of the cone. And uh, then the bottom of the cone is connected to um, the outer coil here. The apex is connected to the inner coil inside. Um, so it's getting the uh, negative radiant energy from the center of the cone. Um, I'm just pulsing it. I'm, I can move the frequency around because I can tune it on the cat board here and I'm just looking for things that come up with the best options. I'm looking for a, a, an opposite um, 180 degrees out of phase signal going from the top and bottom of the cone into the sphere coils here. And uh, those uh, I've got that here. I, I actually doubled it up. It just seemed to make sense. So it's about 304 kilohertz now. And um, there you've got the impulses uh, and the um, there's a capacitive probe and there's the um, signal generator. And anyway, it, it looks mess, but it makes sense somewhat. I, I got a, a spectrum analyzer to try and figure out what the sidebands were because it's really hard to measure anything scalar, to be honest. And um, I'm still not sure if this is working the way I want it to or not, but anyway. I'll keep going. <laughs> so the, uh, the, yeah, it's only about, I, I, I can put in a lot more uh, energy than that, but I don't think scalar stuff needs it. It, it kind of makes it itself, I think. Um, I mean, I can put it in and I just fill the room with RF everywhere from just from the combination of these coils. It, uh, it kind of gets, you know, it, f it feels unnecessary or something. But anyway, so... Yeah, let's start have a, a look inside. That's the uh, counter wind coil inside by filer counter wind. The top one I made a while ago. It's um, it's counter wind, but in layers. So you've got five one way, five the other way, all the way down the coil. Then I cut it off, and uh, yeah, anyway, it took a long time, but it's um, it's interesting to play with now. Now that I've got some kind of a, a plan. Um, anyway. Yeah, let's see how it goes.